Okay, hello and good day teachers and classmates. So I have discovered a very interesting platform that we can use in our uh, online teaching. Uh, I will start already with the downside. So the downside of this is as I was trying it, it works on some phones, but it might uh, have certain issues. Una sa lahat magiit yung phone for this platform. And some phones might just be too slow for this platform. But the good news is you don't really have to install anything. And if you have to install this software, it's fine. It's just small. But uh, you can access this through your browser. So let us go to gather.town. Yeah, so we have gather.town. And uh, you can actually use this for free. And you only need to subscribe if you would need a larger group of people or if you have certain things that you want to have access to. But I think this is totally okay for us. And so enjoy dito ng sobra siguro yung mga bata. Okay? Now here on Gather, it looks like you're going to make a game. Ang gagawa ka ng virtual space mo, pa ang gagawa ka ng 2D uh, space mo, parang yung games natin long, long ago. So, here are pre-made spaces if you don't have an account. So, I'm going to show you how to really start from the start, but not from zero, not from scratch. Okay. So, dito tayo sa remote office. And here, let's say, for example, you're expecting a lot of people, so you can increase it to 150 so that you can accommodate up to 150 people, uh, or 50, or 25, or just the smallest, two to six people. So I'll be using this. You can also change the theme into something cozy, parang nasa bahay lang, or parang nasa work talaga, industrial. You might want to make it a skyscraper or courtyard. So, dito tayo, courtyard tayo. Then, let's uh, put a name. Uh, let's say, for example, na M102. You can put a password or pwedeng hindi na. And, of course, for you to be able to save your progress, please sign in with Google so that uh, you can easily access this again. Now, ginagawa natin tong gather town na to, tayo yung host, since we are the teachers here. Later on, I will show you how it feels to be a student here in gather. Pero it's actually the same thing, except to wala yung ibang console. Now, uh, a pop-up should appear here. But since I have used this before, wala nang nag-pop-up sa akin. Please allow it to use your microphone. Choose your microphone. And your speaker as well as your camera. You can edit and customize your character. Yan. And also your name. So let's join the gather. So here's the gather space. Very cute. Para lang pala na siyang game. Uh, and of course, you would be needing to invite people. So you can copy the link and then send it to them. Send it in their messenger. Or you can invite them by email. And invite to yung sarili ko. So later on, mag accept yung aking student, quote unquote. So, how to navigate this area? You can use the arrow keys to move up and down. And as you notice, it may sound. If ever you have really assigned some sound to that object. Let's prepare the space muna. So, you can upload a logo here. So, siguro I'd like to use something cute. So, let's just wait for it to load. Ayan. So, ito na yung logo ko. And then, what else can we do? So, 
here you you have actually some objects that you can interact with or you can do something. So, tingnan natin what can we do here with this uh, weird looking paper. So, it says there, press X to interact. Yeah. So, here we have, oh, it directed me to Gathers Health Center. Yan, mga quick tips. Kung pwede nga lang, ito na ipasa ko. <laughs> so, actually, literally, this is what I might be passing. So that's why I made this video para effort naman ang konti. I can move away. By the way, if you have noticed, the rest of the space became darker. Except for the middle one. And it says that I have entered a private space. So if there's a lot of people here in the space, or the together town, and I am here in this private space, then, ang kami lang magkakausap-usap. So, those nearby. So, those na nasa upuan. Okay, anyway. There. So, let's fix this first. Okay. So, there are many things that you can interact with. Just like this, the go-kart. You can ride the go-kart, actually. Ayan, parang sa bilis. You can actually also, ayan, extra, you can pet the cat so that it would follow you. Okay, let's take a look at these objects. No? Okay, so what else can it do? It can become a timer, actually. So, let's say I want a five-minute break. And so, just like that. Okay, you can leave the space. So, I'll be teaching you first how to put these uh, interactive objects. So, as you can see, we have this build tool sa lower right area natin, itong hammer. We can build it and then pili tayo ng object. Uh, magandang gawin to, let's say for example, parang scavenger hunt. Okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific object. But let's say, for example, gusto kong uh, item na gamitin ay guitar. I can customize the color also. And I can actually embed a website. Or kung may available interaction, we can add an interaction. I can embed a website, an image, or video. Sige, hanap tayo ng video ni Arthur Neri. So, let's say, for example, when they interact with the guitar, I want them to be able to listen to Arthur Neri's song. Yeah. So, let's embed video. Make sure it's video. If you want to achieve better results. Sorry. Yeah. It's the sound. Yeah. Then, where do I want to place the guitar? Because I want it uh, here. And uh, you can put multiple guitars anywhere. Yan. So, parang hidden item. Okay. So, done. Press escape if you're done. And then, let's try to interact with the guitar. So, as you can see, it showed the embedded video or the link. The video that I want to show you. Kung walang ads. Another thing, let's try another object. This time, let's try an image. Bang cute na image. Uh, let's say, cute dog. Or siguro parang puzzle na lang. Or, Let's say, for example, yan, something to observe or maybe math or a word puzzle. And let's say, for example, ito. Then, I could just copy image link. Then, pili ako ng object na gusto kong gamitin. Let's say, for example, it doesn't necessarily have to be a picture. Pwede ng kahit ano to eh. Uh, let's just say balloon. I can embed an image. Pwede siyang uh, i-upload ko na lang. Let's 
example picture ko ng bata. <laughs> Need a preview image. So, I'll click the same thing. And that's it. I'll be placing the balloon here and here and here. In escape, let's try to interact with the balloon. Ayan, so scary. <laughs> Ayan, so makikita nila yung picture ko. Uh, let's add another object. Because as the teacher, we need to know how this works. We need to know how we will be able to make use of this space. So, kunyari, uh, grand piano. Mukhang walang special interaction sa grand piano. So, let's just embed a website. Or call, pwedeng external call. Let's say, gusto mong tawagin sa Meet. Gusto mong tawagin sa Zoom. Yan, tawag na. A note, pwedeng Uno, QT. Baka naman. <laughs> Ayan. So, let's just add it here. Let's try to interact with it to see how it would look like. Sorry, my PC is lagging because I have many tabs open. Ayan, let's press X to interact. Ayan, nagkaroon ng note. This is the note that I placed earlier. Okay, uh, another one. Uh, gramophone. Alright. Actually, it doesn't have to be related. Let's say, for example, uh, ito na lang, Arbor Vitae. Amaze, no. Uh, it can embed a website. Let's say, for example, I want them to answer a certain form. Ito na lang, kunyari. So, we were going to send, okay, our Google form. Or whatever form it is. Pwedeng quizzes, pwedeng kahoot. As long as you have copied it link not this one because it's our link so better to send it and then okay, while waiting and so I just resumed it medyo nag slow down yung PC ko, yung aking PC so let's send this uh, Google form by copying the link and then let's paste it uh, here, embedded website. Ayan, lagay natin dito yung puno or dito or kung saan man. Again, press escape if you have put enough uh, objects that you want. Ayan, then let's press X to interact and the form should appear. See that? Ayan. So what else? Let's try to discover more things about this. As you can see, may stairs. So, actually, may second floor yung ibang spaces. Okay? The rest of them are question marks because it's loading. So, uh, again, downside is uh, this is not recommended for phones or for computers that are just Intel Celeron na tig 58,000. <laughs> Yan. So, may second floor. There are lots of private spaces. And merong kapihan, which is another private space. Wala interaction. And as you can see, there is a megaphone area here. Let's see what it can do. Meron ba? Oh, wala na. You can actually uh, change this into... You can actually change this or customize it again, kagaya ng ina-add natin kanina. Try to go down a bit. Let's go to one of the meeting room. Actually have a meeting room. And, and there you go. So you can see, I could not enter. I have to open the door. Yeah, so may paganan pa siya. There is a whiteboard here. Uh, but uh, I will be showing this later. Siguro kung may kasama na ako. But for the meantime, uh, let's skip to the student view. Okay. 
can I will just invite a friend. Okay. You can invite by going to this section, lower right, and press invite. Add the email or maybe copy the link. Adding guest. So, of course, highly recommended that your students or the participants are connected via Google. Or if you think if this is just a one-time thing, then just send the guest link so that anyone in the internet can access. So, I'll switch screen. This time, student ako. Ayan. So, this time, I'm a student. Okay. And as a student, this is my first time using Gather Town, so I will allow the use of my camera and all. Ayan. Off ko muna ang aking microphone and video. Can, again, I can edit my character. Ayan natin siyang dog. And let's name it uh, Arthur. Pasalin na naman si Arthur. And so, student view. So, by the way, hi, if you notice, it looks way better compared to earlier. It's because uh, Chrome is highly recommended in using this. Um, so, same, same thing. You can double click to go to a place as a student. You can use the arrow keys. You can interact with the object here. Yeah. So let's try to answer the form. And so I'll be sent here to the form to answer it. Okay. And then I can chat. Uh, you can see it's and dito. So let's make it side by side. This side is the student, the left side is the student, the right side is the teachers. Okay, so as let's take a look at the chat box. Kung mababasa ni teacher, kung mababasa ni host. Okay, I'm here, Arthur is here. So as you can see, walang lumabasa chat. Well, let's try the everyone. So, yun, no, that's it. Okay. Right, let's try to enter the meeting room. Ayan. So, if you notice, so as I enter the private space, as I enter the meeting room, uh, the video of those in the meeting room appeared. And so, since wala daw ako sa aking play, I can see. So, parang, ipansinin mo ako. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, I'm back. Okay. okay. There's there. So Arthur, Arthur can see me. So my, oh, my audio might be double. double. I need to mute this one. one. Yeah. So for the meantime, I am muting this site. Okay. So everybody in this area can actually hear me. Okay. So let's try using the whiteboard. So, si teacher, gagamit din ng whiteboard. So, let's try to interact with the whiteboard. So, we can write things down. You can see I am seeing what they're working on. I can type here something. I am the outstanding dolphin. And the teacher's knowledgeable participant. Uh, it's because uh, this one, is, this is not Jamboard. This is actually something new to me. Uh, I think the name of this is Eraser. This whiteboard's name is Eraser. So it has a different, uh, what do you call this one? User interface compared to Jamboard. Method. But anyways, as you can see, this is how it works. And now, me as the teacher, say for example, mag on my ako. Yan. Hello. Hello. 
there. So there. you might be hearing me twice. It's because Arthur's microphone is on. So I can actually turn off or mute their microphone just in case uh, they are being distracting. As well as their videos. Let's say, for example, naka-on din yung kanilang video. So you can actually turn it off. But you could not uh, enable it because, uh, of course, they have turned it off for a reason. Okay. Uh, what else? So, you can actually make an event. So, you can link it to your Google Calendar. Again, we have the build tool for more objects that we can use. I forgot to make one for documents. So, sige, gawa tayo for documents. Let's say, for example, we have a Google document to share. Ayan, kanyari ito na lang po. Okay. So, when we have a Google document that we would like everyone to view, or actually, kung hindi man Google, pwedeng sa OneDrive, pwedeng Microsoft. And let's just make sure that we share it, share with others, or publish to web. For now, I will not publish this to web. And then, I'll just make it anyone with the link can view. And copy the link. Again, it does not have to be a document talagang hahanapin natin. Pwedeng Apple. Right. Again. And up ulit tayo. Hindi ko na end, hindi ko na embed yung link. Ayan. And Apple, let's embed a website. Since there's no document here, embed website tayo. And then, I guess I would like to put the apples here. So, what is a may apple basket? Ayan. Okay, let's try to interact. Or let's have Arthur interact. Ayan. So, tingnan natin kung mag-view ni Arthur yung binigay kong document. Okay, so Arthur can actually view the document that I have sent. Okay, here. So, what else are the other functions? Your student can actually screen share as well. Okay, for example, this one. Wala pang naman. Or ito na lang. Many times. <laughs> ito na lang for instance. And uh, you can see Arthur's screen. Uh, another thing, we have the app. You can have a heart. It would show on top of their avatars or characters. They can edit this as well. So, very helpful to actually. So, Arthur can double click me so that uh, we can have a private conversation. You can leave the bubble as well. Yeah. So, ayun lamang po. I hope that you have enjoyed and I hope that we all discovered something new. And I hope that you could take our time in discovering this and uh, enjoying this platform. Again, this platform is free. I have not downloaded anything. I just use Google Chrome and Edge. Well, for better experience, saka mas mabilis ko ang Google Chrome. Okay? But then again, for... This is actually openable open up this is actually accessible through phones yun lang there might be a problem because uh some phones again are too small some phones are too slow or could not handle this one uh, but let's see sana magkaroon ng chance na magamit to okay so good luck and enjoy this one